guys and welcome to my favorites of 2021 video. Yes, this is probably the beginning of February when you're going to see this, but you know, hey, there's still my favorites from last year that didn't change since, you know, over the past month. So, um, I just wanted to share with you guys some things that are favorites of mine from last year. And we are doing everything from makeup to hair care to food to drinks to TV shows, you name it. So, I have a little list here and I was like, you know what? I really should have gone through and put these in order, but I didn't. So we're going to go all over the place. It's not going to be all the makeup together. It's not going to be, it's just going to be whatever is on my list that I'm going to pull up and show you. So I hope you don't mind. This is my life. This is the way my brain works. I am not an organized person. I kind of go from this to that. So, um, why not have my video do that as well? Right? So the very first thing on my list, there's a reason it's the first thing on my list because I love this product so much. I fell in love with the Wet n Wild um, Tinted Hydrator. This one actually is in medium tan. This is the one that I use right now. Um, I have two other shades as well. I have the light medium and the medium deep. So I bought medium deep for winter, I mean for summer, and it was a little bit too deep. So I bought the light medium and I kind of mixed them together. Um, definitely used more of the light medium with this because it was pretty dark. So then for winter, I knew this was too light, but this is way too dark. So I ended up with the medium tan. So um, it started in, well, I think spring last year actually is when I started using this. And you guys, I am a crazy oily person. So I was thinking to myself, tinted hydrator, mm, probably not going to be real good for me. However, I am not a fan of foundations at this point as far as like, I don't want anything, even medium coverage a lot of times is too much for me. Definitely don't want a full coverage foundation. It makes you look older as you get older. It just does. You can tell when people have it, you can see your fine lines and wrinkles and stuff that much more. Or if you have like texture on your face, I just, I am not a fan of it on myself. So I definitely have been liking lighter coverage. This is phenomenal. It is like $5 or five fifty or so. I mean, that's super cheap and it lasts forever. And, um, I love the way that it makes my skin look. So if you want something that is a light coverage and you know, you just want you like your skin, but better, you know, you want to kind of even things out a little bit, but still be able to see, you know, little freckles and stuff through then you will love this. I, I love it. And like I said, I'm super oily. I know people who have dry skin really love it too. So that's, that's number one. And I'm not going to make all these this long because otherwise we'll be here forever. Um, number two, I'm just going to mention real quick because I've mentioned it every year. I think it is the wet and wild photo focus eyeshadow primer. It is still my favorite for a reason. I've tried other ones that are more expensive. Some don't work as well for me and some work just as good. Why would I pay more? You will see a definite theme here with my products. If you're looking for high end stuff, you're going to be bored as heck because that is not me. And I honestly, you guys feel so strongly that it does not make sense to pay all that money. If you're a collector and those are things that you enjoy and you have the money to spend on stuff like that, by all means do it. But if you are the average person who does not have money to just shell out on expensive makeup products or things like that, I'm your girl. I'm your girl. <laughs> because you can have amazing stuff. You can still look great. No one can tell the difference. And it's, you know, drugstore. All right. So next thing. The Too Faced, uh, what is this called? It's a from like the Tutti Fruity line, I think. But it's called, um, it's the Comfort Lip Glaze. And it's in the shade Show Me Your Coconuts. So this is what the packaging looks like. This lip gloss is phenomenal. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love it the most in the summer when I have a little bit of a tan. There's just something about it that is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, and I will mention, this is not on me right now, but things that I have on, I tried to use a lot of my favorites. And so I will mention them to you when I do. Um, that's not one of them that's on, but it is amazing. And like I said, I like it best when I have a little bit of a tan. What I do have on is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Stone. You guys... If you want a lip gloss, this does not have any kind of sparkle to it or anything. It's just a slight tint, but it gives a little bit of color. It makes your lips look hydrated and it's not sticky. These lifter glosses are amazing. And actually, I can't lie. This is the only one I have. I haven't even gone and bought another one because I love this color. And I have so many others that have like shimmers and different stuff in them. If you want shimmer, they've got that. If you want clear, they've got that. They've got a whole variety of them but I do have a lot of other lip glosses so I haven't gone and bought any more because I need to get through some other ones but um this I love and as you can see it's just a very simple 
neutral gloss stone again is the shade and um things I don't know if I'm gonna link I'm gonna try to link stuff so if I can it will be linked down below okay next up is one of my favorite palettes of the year might not be a surprise I have three palettes in this uh in this video but it is the Gourmand Girls That Time of Year palette. Now, you may know that my cousin Debbie, Debbie Chan, is one of the collaborators on this palette. She helped create, um, you know, choosing colors and all that great stuff. And also, Senia from Adventures of Senia, who I met through Debbie. They are super good friends. And then um, Riri from The Brutally Honest Beauty. And I absolutely love her. We've become good friends. So, to have a palette that was, you know, created by the three of them, Plus, Christina, who is the owner of Gourmand Girls, who I adore. There was no way I wasn't getting this palette. So, um, these are the shades in it. You, If you've been around my channel or there's a big group of us who kind of all collectively have a lot of the same subscribers and things like that, then you've probably seen this a million times. But as you can tell, this puppy gets used. And it is amazing. So, I, um, well, and I'll go ahead and tell you one of the other of my favorite palettes from this year is the Gourmand Girls Exquisite palette. Now, this doesn't mean that these came out this year because I don't think this did, but these are things that me in this past year have discovered and fallen in love with. So the Exquisite palette looks like this. You guys, I cannot tell you how much I love this palette. Yes, it seems dark and maybe like, ah, when you look at some of those colors, but you have amazing variety for very neutral looks, but then you also have those more bold pops of color. I love this. Every single time I use this palette, this might actually be my most favorite palette in my collection. I feel like I look gorgeous every single time I do a look with this palette. I love it so much. And I will have linked down below. Um, I do have a code Lamburger that you can use at the Gourmand Girls website if you would like 10% off. It is not an affiliate code. I don't make anything from it. It just lets Christina know that you came from my channel and decided to purchase from her and it saves you 10%. So can't beat that, right? So I will have that linked below, but I cannot recommend these two palettes enough. And so definitely get your hands on them if you don't already have them. So I'll just go ahead and show you the other favorite palette for this year is the House Laboratories Love for Sale palette. So it looks like this inside. So this is a much more like neutral lover's dream. Um, you know, great warm tones, but you've got some cool tones over here too. You've got the pops of color. You've got, it's amazing. It's actually what I have on my eyes today. So I will show that to you right quick here. So um, I will say something that you will love if you are a newbie to, um, you know, eyeshadow or you like something more subtle, you will love this palette. Because if you just use your finger or a brush to apply like the shimmers and stuff, they are very subtle. They look bold right now on me because I used glitter glue. So if you want to amp it up, use some glitter glue. So I think it's such an awesome, versatile palette. I will also have linked below, um, there's a little uh, like referral link that if you've never ordered anything from House Labs before, you can um, click that link and if you, with your first $15 purchase, you get a free mini of their liquid eyeliners and I get some points, so that's super fun. So um, if you wanna do that, you will already, if you haven't seen yet, I'm going to link right here videos for um, the liquid shimmer powders that they have from House Labs that I am loving. But I just started with those right, like, right before, or actually like right after Christmas because I got them for Christmas. So those are not in my 2021 favorites because that, that wouldn't make sense. But I love them. So check that out. All right. Next up is the, oh, I put it in here. Again, I'm going to mention the Essence Pure Nude Highlight. It is the Be My Highlight is the shade of this one. You guys, I've been using this for years now at this point, like two, two and a half years probably. And there's still that much and I use it all the time. It is such a beautiful, natural looking highlight. If you like a more natural looking highlight, you will love this. The next thing I am going to mention is kind of one that if you want to find it, I know you can find it on Poshmark and probably other places too because I did look on Poshmark for it because I might want a backup of it. That's how much I love it. I want to give away last year before Christmas from Barbara Jean and her channel is Age is Just a Number and um, it was an Estee Lauder holiday collection. And in that collection came this little Pure Color Envy cheek palette in Glow. So it looks like this. And these are the bronzer, blush, and highlight. 
Okay. When I first looked at this, because you might see there's like, it looks like there might be a little bit of shimmer in the highlight or in the bronzer and the blush. And I'm like, usually that is not my jam. You guys, that's what I have on today. I wear this all the time. I think I went a little blush heavy today, but, but whatever. But, um, I love this. The highlight in it is again, just a very like pretty glow. You can see it on the end of my nose there. It's just, there is something about these shades that I absolutely love. So I've been using this like crazy. So like I said, um, it's kind of like a goofy one to try to find, but, um, if you are looking for, if you like the way this looks, then I cannot recommend this enough. And like I said, I think I might try to buy a backup of it because I seriously love it. I use it almost daily. So yeah. And then and to that, I will say I have been using like crazy this past year, this Moda angle blush brush. It's dirty because I used it today. And, um, when I first got it, I didn't, I never used to like blush brushes like this. I was like, no, it needs to be bigger and have, you guys, I love this. I love the shape of it. I, cause I like to take my blush up into my temple here. And so it's like the perfect, I kind of do like a padding motion first and then sort of buff it out. The size is perfect for me because it's not too big and getting everywhere, like up where I want my highlighter, down where my bronzer is, you know, it's just like in the perfect spot. So I love this brush. The other brush that I want to mention was one that I was sent last year for Christmas from Christy Pope because it's her daughter Alyssa's, like one of her favorite brushes. It's the Morphe M433 brush. So this is what it looks like. This is my one that I use constantly. So it is dirty as heck. Like I can do pretty much a whole eye look just with this brush. So I got another one for Christmas. So this is what it looks like. So fresh and so clean, clean because yeah, you can see I, I beat this one up and I wash it constantly. And so I love this brush. I cannot recommend it enough. It is so perfect for blending out shadows, packing them on and blending them out. It's perfect. It's a perfect brush. I don't know what else to say. I, I love brushes, but I'm really excited about that brush. Okay. The next thing I will talk about is something that's sitting right next to me. It is a drink. And, um, so we started doing keto a couple of years ago. I did very, very well on it. And then I kind of fell off the wagon and oh girl, did I gain the weight back. So, um, I'm back on, back on that wagon. And one of the things that I love, I stopped drinking pop years ago just because of all the calories in it and stuff and just, eh. and so I never even, I never liked to diet pop and stuff. And then they started coming out with all the like Coke Zero and things like that. Um, but I was just like, you know what? I haven't been drinking pop. I'm not going to start now. Well, I always drink the sparkling waters with keto stuff. And then they came out with this sparkling ice plus caffeine. Because your girl loves some caffeine. And um, this is in cherry vanilla, you guys. Oh my gosh. So the other flavors of this are pretty good too. There's like a blackberry one and stuff. It's the vanilla. It's the vanilla that makes the difference in this. It is sweet. I'm going to tell you, this is super sweet. So to me, it's almost like a treat. Um, I don't drink those every day. I drink one every other week, probably. Um, but I cannot say enough good things about this. If you are on keto and you are looking for like a, something that feels like pop more to you or soda. <laughs> I'm in Michigan. We say pop. Um, and you want like that sweetness, but it's not like that super fakey sweet. I'm telling you, try this and let me know what you think. I can't wait to hear because so much. Um, something I don't have right here with me, but I will pop a picture up on the screen somewhere, probably over here, um, is the Smart Water Cucumber Lime Flavor. My sister introduced me to that earlier this year, and oh my goodness, same thing. It's something I don't drink every day. Smart Water is expensive, let's be real. Um, but it is like a refreshing treat to me. It is, and refreshing is the name of the game right there. Cucumber, if you ever had cucumber water, amazing lime and water hello cucumber and lime together in water uh awesome so yes definitely recommend that delicious if you are looking for trying to, if you're somebody who's really struggling with drinking water and you need like something more to it try that if you like like a cucumber flavored water it's so dang good next up i will talk about a show um so we had started watching on hulu it's called only murders in the building and it's got selena gomez martin short and steve martin Oh my gosh, is it hilarious and just fun. Like they keep you guessing all the time on like, you know, who's doing what and just all the, like the nuances of the characters are hilarious. There's only one thing about the show that drives me nuts. If you are somebody who is opposed to the F word, you might not like it because they use it constantly. And I'm not really sure why, because it's like even in weird places where you're like, 
okay. But, um, so that's not my favorite part. But if you can see past that, if that's not something that bothers you, you won't care at all. But if you do get annoyed by that, then it might kind of eh, trigger you a little. But um, otherwise, it is hilarious. And if you like, like, kind of mystery type things, um, it's like a murder mystery, but a comedy at the same time. It's so good. Just the way the characters are together, so dang good. Check it out if you have Hulu. Next up, we'll go back to makeup. <laughs> and we are going to talk about the LA Girl Shockwave Neon Eyeliners. Oh my gosh, I love these so much. They are awesome. They stay in your waterline all day. They're vibrant. They're, they're just awesome. I ended up getting a black one too, just because I know they stay well. So I'm like, okay, why not have a good black, you know, eyeliner. But then I got these different colors. I will probably get more because they are just so dang good. You do have to sharpen them, but who cares? And yeah, absolutely highly recommend these. They are not expensive and they work phenomenal. Stay there all day. I also have some of their Pastel Dreams Auto Liners, so these are not, um, these don't have to be sharpened. I actually have this pink one on today. It is in baby pink. <laughs> Real hard to remember. I don't know why I had to look at that. So that is what's in my waterline right now. And so if you're looking for like more pastel colors, I do have a light purple one somewhere too. And this one is marshmallow, it's white. Um, these also are very good. I don't think they stay quite as well as the neon ones, but I think it's because those ones are so vibrant, like you notice some more, but um, these are great too. So I really do like those. And staying on the theme of eye um, liners, the Essence Extreme Lasting, they are waterproof, it says 16 hour, they wear up to 16 hours. I don't know about all that, but um, so, I don't know what I did. Oh, it's right here. So Black Midnight Sky is my favorite. And this is how far down I am on that one. It does have a slight little bit. Are we going to focus there? Thanks. Um, of sparkle in it. But you don't really see that on the eye. Now, you probably would if you lined like your upper, you know, like your lid here, which I haven't done. I'm going to do that. Um, because you probably then would see the sparkle. But you don't really see it, notice it that much in the waterline. I even tight lined my upper lash line with it. So I ended up getting another one of those for Christmas because, because this one's getting sadly small. And then um, I also use all the time, this is the nude one. And then I also picked up, uh, this one is a black and a brown. So um, I figured why not? Because I know I love them. So highly recommend those even less expensive than the other ones and they work so well. So I hope they will end up coming out with more like colors in them because they're great. But the Black Midnight Sky, I highly recommend that shade. It's so good. Next up is my Revlon dryer brush. I didn't even bother to pull all the hair out, gross. But you guys, I got this last year for Christmas for my husband. I love this thing so much, especially if you have thin hair. My hair dries super fast, so I can actually let it somewhat dry a little bit like while I'm doing makeup or something and then use this right at the end so I'm not having to use it too long but it gives volume and just and dries my hair the rest of the way it takes out any like because my hair has like a weird kink to it and then um then I can go in and curl or whatever I want to do with it but I love this and even people with thicker hair would like it too you just have to section your hair off more or whatever um but it is so good there's enough settings on it that I use it on low and so um and that is plenty warm enough for my hair so I feel like I'm not like damaging like with a blow dryer for a long time and stuff. It's just fast, gets those kinks out, which a blow dryer doesn't do unless I'm like roll brushing too, but this is all in one. And so it's phenomenal. So definitely recommend this product. Next up would be Doc Martens. Yes, I acquired two pairs of Doc Martens this year. I stink and love them. I have a pair on right now, but I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Okay, here's my pewter ones. <laughs> and then I also have a pair of gray pant leather ones. I want more. I love a pair of matte black ones and then like some other. I really want one of like the floral pairs. Um, but yeah, I love them. They're comfortable. They're super cute. They go with a ton of stuff. You can dress them up, dress them down. I've really been into the look of like the contrast of hard and soft, you know, so like a more feminine, but then also having like that as being a more grounding, um, I don't want to say masculine, but maybe kind of, um, kind of look. I've just really been enjoying that like push and pull in my outfits and stuff. And so I love Doc Martens so much. I will never be without them again. That might be dramatic, but I really don't think I will. <laughs> Next up is Beatles brand nail polishes. They are gel polishes. So this is like what the box looks like when you get them. Um, I have several. I will actually go ahead and insert a picture of them so that you can see what I've got. I've got the lamp, 
all that stuff. They're inexpensive and they are awesome. These um, nails are some of the ones that I just did. These are from their Milky Way collection. Um, there is a magnet that comes with it. So I made like, if you can see like a little diagonal line on them with a the magnet. So that changes color. And they actually change their like teal and pink, like a pinky purple, which it's not really showing up. But they are awesome. They look so cool in person. And I'm like, okay, now when I have them like this to me, I can see the pink. So I don't know how to quite get that. It's like a tiger eye effect kind of thing. But anyway, awesome. I love Beatles gel polishes. I use them all the time. They easily last two weeks. No problem. I usually take it off because it's starting to grow out from, you know, your cuticle line or just because I'm ready for a new color. So they do not chip. They, they're awesome. They're so awesome. Next up would be shampoo and conditioner that I discovered this year. This is from Dollar General. It is the root to end brand. So the shampoo and conditioner, but this is in the volumizing. So it's volumizing shampoo delivers a boost of weightless body to fine, thin hair. Same thing for the conditioner delivers a boost of weight, boost of weightless body to fine, thin hair. I cannot say enough about these. These changed the game for me with my super thin, crappy hair. It's just, they don't, they do exactly what they say. They don't weigh it down. I had so many issues. My hair always just seemed like it got greasy. I would have to wash my hair every other day. No question. I mean, it just had to be done. Now I can wash my hair, put like two days in between before I have to wash it again, sometimes three. Like seriously, it is so good. It has changed my hair. So highly recommend that if you are a thin haired girl like me, give it a try. It's inexpensive. They're like $5 each. A lot of times they do two for eight um, with the, you know, app, whatever coupons. So definitely check that out if you are a thin haired girl. Another food slash drink thing that is also from Dollar General. It is their Clover Valley brand, actually. And it is the sugar-free French vanilla coffee creamer. So it's like the powdered creamer. Again, keto, if you're looking for something delicious to put in your coffee because you're like a creamer kind of person, oh my gosh, definitely check this out. I am like obsessed with this stuff. I'm not even kidding. Like I actually just went and bought two more of them yesterday because, well, this is one of them, because I was out. And so I like to buy them two at a time. Yes, that's how much I like them. So um, definitely if you like sweet stuff that you need sugar-free, if you're keto, whatever, you're just trying to watch, pick this up. Do yourself a favor. Pick this up. Another show that I have been loving over this past year is called Big Sky. Oh my gosh. It's like these private investigators and just all the situations they get into. I love like thriller mystery kind of things like that like suspenseful and this show definitely has it there's so many elements of like just crazy things going on all the time with it it's so good and it's based on montana the scenery in the show is so dang gorgeous like you're like maybe i want to move to montana i don't because i love michigan but but i mean seriously it's it's just so good i love the characters in it i it's just um I, you know I don't know. There's so many different elements happening all at once that are so cool that you're jumping around to, but they're all intertwined as well. So it's like, I don't know. It's a really good show. Definitely check that out if you are interested in those types of shows, like that kind of thriller suspense, like wondering what's going on. You will like it. And then the last thing that I will mention is just um, some YouTube stuff. I am really into true crime, and I think there are some phenomenal true crime creators on um YouTube that I just would like to shout out to you. I will have them linked below for sure because these ones just, they stand out to me. And I know there's some that are really popular that a lot of people really like, but um, I won't say why I they're not my favorite, <laughs> but I will just say why these ones are. Um, first off, I love Jen Lorden. Lorden Arts is his channel. Um, he does a lot of different things. He is very passionate about working with families who have missing loved ones or um, have, you know, cases that are just not being paid attention to and need help on them, whether, you know, it might be a murder case or whatever it might be. But I just, I love his personality. You can tell his sincerity. The way he covers things is very thorough and with a lot of like love and care. It's not just for entertainment. And um, so I greatly appreciate him. So I will have him linked down below. 
Also along with that would be Danielle Halen. Her name is spelled without an I. I have no idea why. It kind of drives me crazy, but that doesn't matter. But anyway, <laughs> she, same thing. She's very passionate about finding missing people, working with their families, um, getting things, you know, out there to the public so that you know about these cases. And um, one of the things that she always says is like, let's bring them home together. And um, so again, same thing. I love that. And she and um, John Lorden actually do a show together that I will have that linked down below too. And um, because it's really fun when they do it. And it's usually like a goofy thing and you're like voting on who had the better story. So it's 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 true crime stories, but they each tell one under a certain theme and um, you vote on which one you like better. So that's always super fun to watch. And just their interactions together are really fun. Next up would be Christina Randall, who is completely different from the two of them. She actually was in prison when she was young. Um, so she went through some hard stuff. So she has a little different angle on things that then, you know, a lot of the other creators do. Um, she is a Christian. And so um, I love her heart and the way she comes across with things like that. And the girl cracks me up with the way like she just tells it how it is. And um, I greatly appreciate that about her when she's irritated about something, she says it and, you know, about the way things are being investigated or whatever. Like she, so I would say John Lorden and Danielle Halen are like a little more like on the professional side where um, Christina Randall is like not at all. <laughs> like not that she's not um, professional. I mean, she cares about the cases and she's very respectful, but I mean, as far as like, she calls out like law enforcement and stuff like that about things and like, but not in a disrespectful way. It's when there's clearly been an issue, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, so I really appreciate her as well. And then also Stephanie Harlow. Oh my gosh. She is an amazing true crime creator. She puts so much work into the cases she does. A lot of them are several parts because she dives very deep. And so that is something that I really, really like too, is to really get into the mind or the whole situation, you know, the timeline of things and all the workings of what happened, you know, along the way and stuff. So it's, she doesn't do like, she does do a coffee and crime time, um, show where that's like a little shorter ones, but then her other ones are, you know, a lot of times in several parts because she's going so in depth with them. And she also is funny in the fact that she, oh, when she is mad about something, when she doesn't like, you know, somebody who's a jerk. I mean, obviously if you murdered somebody, you suck. So she will like call these people out and like just stuff about, so it can be very entertaining in that way sometimes, but she is super thorough and like, I love that. And in going into that, she does a show called Crime Weekly with a retired um, police detective named Derek Lavasser. And same thing, they go deep diving into cases. And so you get his perspective from being um, a police detective. And then hers is just, you know, an in investigating, you know, a true crime like she does. And um, the way they bounce things off of each other. And like I said, they go very deep. I am just um, finishing up uh, on Casey Anthony, that case. And I mean, they go very in depth. I think, um, I actually, I'm not even finishing up. They're not even done with it yet. I think I'm on episode six. So, I mean, and we're talking like an hour or more episodes at a time. Very, very thorough. If you are interested in those kind of things, I highly, highly recommend them. So that is where I'm going to leave it with just, you know, there's some new YouTube content for you to check out if you're interested in true crime. And um, I hope you just enjoyed seeing some of these other things, food, drinks, hearing about TV shows, TV shows, I can't even talk, um, things like that, that have been my favorites over the past year and so um i'm excited to hear if any of you have used these if you enjoy them too or if you're like oh i'm gonna check that out all right thank you guys so much for watching and i'll talk to you very soon bye